you know, with your other expenses, like this is your, all of your expenses every month, you know, they fluctuate a little bit and you're only earning that much, then you've got a, a much, much thinner like margin of error. But if you're earning this much, then you've, your, your expenses are down here and you've got a much bigger margin for error, right? So you can, you, you can take the, that money, invest it, put it in a rainy day fund in case you, you break your leg or you, you know, get in a car accident and you can't work. So now you have a, a cushion or whatever. Like, I totally agree with you. I don't think it's, it translates into, all right, now I'm making $100,000. Now I am happy, right? If you're not happy making $25,000, you know, just generally, it's gonna be very, very hard for you to be happy making $125,000. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Adjuster Pro. Use code Adjuster TV at checkout and get licensed right now at adjustertv.com slash licensing. I don't know, you're able to buy more stuff and so you fill up a house with more stuff, right? Um, but that's not, it's, it's not really the, if you're, if when I, when I think about it, it's like more money is a resource. Does it make more sense to me for me to spend money on a bunch of things that I think are cool or like that I want to play with or like, you know, um, stuff that's like a hobby thing or buying a boat or whatever versus things that I think could be make a lot of other things a lot easier for myself and save me money on other areas. For example, instead of buying a boat buy you know, I've got five acres buy a tractor. Right, I can do so much with a tractor, and I don't have to pay anybody when I've got the tractor, and I can do it myself. Right, I think that you know, spending my I'm kind of going off a little bit of tangent here, but when I think about like making um, more money, it's it does provide if if you're smart with the money, we'll just kind of go from that assumption. If you're if you're smart with money, and you know that no matter how much how much or how little you make, you've got to spend less than you earn, then there's there's a kind of a sort of a ceiling to like your expenses, like your fuel bill for your vehicle is only going to be so much, right? So it's not, it's going to be hard to go make it higher and higher unless, you know, fuel, gas prices go up and down, but still, right? There's only, you can, if you drove 24 hours a day, sure. But if, you know, with through the course of work or whatever, you're only going to spend this much on fuel, right? If, you know, with your other expenses, like this is your, all of your expenses every month, you know, they fluctuate a little bit and you're only earning that much, then you've got a, a much much thinner like margin of error but if you're earning this much then you've your, your expenses are down here and you've got a much bigger margin for error right so you can you, you can take the, that money invest it put it in a rainy day fund in case you, you break your leg or you you know you get in a car accident and you can't work so now you have a, a cushion or whatever i think it, it it makes those kinds of things a little bit more possible but i don't like i totally agree with you i don't think it's it translates into all right now i'm making one hundred thousand dollars now i am happy right if you're not happy making $25,000, you know, just generally, it's going to be very, very hard for you to be happy making $125,000, right? If you're able to be happy and be satisfied with life and live in the moment and be loving and, and serving your family and friends and your community and whatever, making zero or $20,000 or $50,000 a year, then that's still you when you make $100,000 or, you know, as some people on social media say, $300,000 as an adjuster. Well, you know, making right? six figures makes a whole lot easier to serve your community. It does. Because so, mm -hmm. <laughs> you have really to. It does. You can be, you, yeah, you, you can be more generous. You know, I think that this kind of, you know, that I'm, now that we're having this conversation and I kind of walking through it, <clears throat> money is, is really like uh, the value of your labor. Really the pure and simple of it, right? So instead of me going out and, you know, digging up potatoes and out in my field and trading potatoes for fish from you, right? I can go work at somebody else's potato field and he's gonna give me some money, like in the form of coins or clams or whatever it is. And then I can go and buy fish from you, right? So it's, it's the value of your, of, your, of your labor. As an adjuster, this is why fee schedule is so, like the component pay piece is, is so attractive, especially to me, is because the, a, a claim pays what it pays, right? I can, the way I give myself a raise, the way I make more money is I take I'm less time to do that one claim. Yeah. yeah. And then I can do more claims during the day. It's like when you, when you hire, when you teamed up your, with your wife, instead of doing four a day, then you can do five or maybe six, right? So you've, you've you're increased your ability to generate revenue for your family. Um, and that is, 
your labor, right? You're being smart about how you're you're doing the claim. You're still you're putting it putting in the work that you're putting in is more efficient, but you're still getting a very high quality product. You still got great customer service, right? You're still doing everything that you need to do, and you're going above and beyond, but you're just doing it in less time, right? So um, when people, this is totally un, not really related to our field, but this is why. Well, maybe it kind of is. You kind of think about it like if you're a photographer or a caterer or somebody like that, right? Has a, have a business like that. If you are, or like a video editor, like I hire a video editor. If I sit down and I say, all right, well, you know, how much do you charge per hour as a video editor? And I pay this, they say, well, I think it'll probably take me 10 hours to do that project. And I pay him $75 an hour, right? Then I might get like a thing from him saying, well, I'll never get something from him saying I spent, I spent fewer hours than that, but maybe I'll probably get something to say I spent more hours than that. Instead of doing that, like, you know, incentivizing, like it's, you're basically commoditizing your labor by saying it's, we're going to pay by the hour because no matter what, whether you do something or not in that hour, it doesn't matter. But if you say, well, let's pay by the project, right? So if I give you an editing project and I'm going to give you $500 for it, if you can do it in 30 minutes, then you made $500 in 30 minutes, right? And if it's, or if it takes you a day, you're incentivized to be as efficient as possible. And the same thing goes for claims. Coming up on Adjuster TV. 